You think this is a pretty flower or a noxious weed? Believe it or not, oxide daisy is invasive and can take over your pastures before you know it. This noxious weed is a very aggressive invader that is spread throughout the United States. It can form very dense stands and replaces beneficial grasses and forbs and each plant can produce over 500 seeds. Oxide daisy is a native to Europe and was intentionally introduced as an ornamental and became accidentally a contaminant of imported hay and grain because of the rapid spreading abilities. This daisy can be identified by its stems that grow up to two feet tall with a single flower head on a simple one branch stem. The flower heads are made up of 15 to 30 white rays that circle a yellow button. The seeds are small, flat, and dark gray in color. Oxide daisy is a member of the sunflower family and looks like a typical daisy and is easily mistaken for other ornamental daisies. Shasta daisy is a look-alike and is a daisy you can still legally purchase in stores. However, be aware because it can be a rapid spreader as well. Because oxide daisy seeds remain viable in the soil for many years, an integrated weed management approach is necessary. Burning and biocontrol are not options. However, persistent mowing, chemical, and prescribed grazing programs can be most effective. This weed can be grazed by horses, sheep, goats, but cattle and pigs avoid it. It also has culinary and home remedy values. Remember, just because this plant has pretty flowers doesn't mean it's a good plant. The most important thing about noxious weeds is to educate yourself to protect the landscape for wildlife and future generations. If you think you have noxious weeds, contact your local weed district, extension office, or Department of Agriculture.